Have you ever done this in After Effects? Let's say you're doing some kind of an animation and you're animating a property that has two or three dimensions and you realize that it might be better if you separate those dimensions. For example, position, you wanna separate the X and the Y. Now with position property, you can do it easily by just right clicking on it and then clicking on the separate dimensions. When you do that, it separates it. So yeah, that's that easy. However, that's not the case for any other properties other than the position property. Let's say you wanna do the same thing for the scale property. Well. If you right click and as you can see, it's grayed out. That means you can't really click on it. So normally to separate those, you would kind of do it manually. You would select the layer, you would go to the effect controls panel, right click, go to the expression controls, bring in a slider, maybe duplicate it so you have two of them because we're working with two properties, right? So then you would call this one something like X and then Y. You would go to the scale property, alt click on a stopwatch and then you would do some kind of coding, we would say, hey, variable X, you're gonna be this slider right here, we want the value. And then Y, you're gonna be that one right here, we want the value. And then we would marry them together because right now, this property right here has two dimensions. So we want to, like the last statement needs to be reflecting this property. So we would add square brackets to create an array and we would say X comma Y. In other words, variable X, which is that slider right here, is gonna be applied to the first value. And then Y would be applied to the second value. So that's why it's second. <sighs> yeah, as you can see, that's quite a bit of steps to create something this simple. So now you can control that with these sliders. So if you just need one, that's not a big deal. But what if you have like a bunch of different properties that you wanna separate? I mean, it can get complicated pretty quickly. So for that, you know, I find myself doing repetitive stuff and if I catch myself, I normally either create a preset or a script. And in this case, I did create a script called Control It. I, you know, some of you might remember it, it's kind of uh, old now, a couple years ago. But that was my first script I've ever created. When I quit Fox Sports, I realized I'm like, I probably need to find a way to make money. So I, I realized learning coding would probably be, be beneficial. So I, I decided to create a script, control it, and it's been a blessing. Uh, but it was my first script. I learned a lot on this script. Uh, a lot of you helped me along the journey to create this, but I realized I need to create a better script. As you can see, it's really big. It takes up a lot of real estate. So I decided to create a new one called Smart Controls. And only has like four buttons. And by the way, if you have purchased Control It in the past, basically Smart Controls will replace it and you will get an automatic update. So it'll be totally free to you guys uh, if you purchase Control It. So let me show you what it does now. Okay, so let's say we want to recreate the same thing. Let me undo all of this. Let me get rid of that. And by the way, if you want to get rid of all the effects on one layer, you can just press Control Shift E. Now all you have to do just select scale property. And if you want to separate dimensions, right, you would just activate or select this button right here to split. As you can see, it splits dimensions. And then whatever properties you select, in this case, just one, when you run it, it will do the same thing. It separates it for you, which is awesome. Not only that, I mean, it keeps whatever value it was there, so it will update it. So that's nice. And again, one click or two clicks, select this, and then that's all it took. Now, the beautiful thing is, let me undo this. I can select the scale properties of three layers or four or five, however many you have. And then when you run it, as you can see, it creates it for every single layer. So that's awesome. Again, you can, you know, have this one, let me undo this. Uh, you can have this one separate, but you can, you don't have to separate. If you uncheck it and if you select the scale properties, let me make sure, let's see. Yeah, let me wipe those. Okay, so you select all the scale properties and you can run it. And it would basically create a duplicate. So in some cases, maybe you want that to where it has the same thing here as that one, but that one controls it from now on. All right, so that's one. But what if, let's say, you wanted to split all of them, but, but then also apply those effects on the new layer. So for example, I'm gonna create a new shape layer right here. I like to use a new shape layer because it's blank. It's perfect for like a control layer. So I'm gonna call this one controls and so I'm going to select scale properties again control select all of them and then whatever layer I select last I'm going to hold control and select this controls layer so this layer is last selected layer and I'm going to separate these selected uh, properties and then I'm going to apply this la last button right here or second to last is 
basically assigned to last selected layer. I know I try to get creative with the icon, but you know, it's tough. So whatever layer you select last, again, it's gonna split these and then apply to the last selected. So when I run it, watch this. So it did create expressions. And then if I go over here, as you see, it did that. So now I can control it from just one layer. Let me undo all of this. I mean, th this can come in very handy if you want to create like a custom menu. Let's say you want to grab opacity and maybe rotation from all of these. You know, you just select them. And then whatever layer you select last, maybe I don't want to split them. I'm not going to split. Well, there's nothing to split there anyway. So when you run it, again, it creates all of them in here so you can control them all from one layer. So that, that can be very handy uh, if you want to create like a custom menu to where you know, that saves time if, you know, you have to go deep into the composition and all the layers and properties and find the property that you want, but you can select them and then apply to one layer. And then you can have like a, you know, headquarters to you can pull everything in one layer and everything gets adjusted. So that can be very useful. All right. So it can do that. But um, so the properties that it supports, let me undo all of this. Uh, it does support just about any properties except for the drop down menu that one is a bit tricky and it also as you can see it creates uh if you select this it creates angle controls so you can create angle controls it can create like a single slider let's do that real quick so again it creates a slider and it can do like a two-dimensional three-dimensional it can also do check boxes let's say uh, i'm going to bring in this effect transform effect and uh it does have a checkbox right here so checkbox as you see right here so if i select this and select this layer and run smart controls you can see it does create a checkbox and you can pull any properties from effects which is something control it couldn't do so now you can actually do the same thing on just about any properties that uh, have keyframes next to it so yeah that is uh, smart controls in a nutshell. I just want to simplify it as much as I could because I realized control was a bit too much. People uh, sometimes given too many controls uh, is not a good idea. So a few buttons, you know, it doesn't take much time to learn how to use this. And uh, this can be very useful. So that is smart controls. Again, it's not finished yet. Uh, I mean, it is, but it isn't because I'm waiting to finish all the tools. I'm currently working on all of them are smart tools that I, uh, you know, in one week I just had like eight or nine different ideas for tools. In one week I was able to create them, create all the scripts. But now, because I created them so fast, now I'm going back to make sure everything's working properly. It's easy to make mistakes when you create something that quick. And uh, so that's where I'm going back, just to make sure everything's uh, working well. And you guys have been so helpful with, with your comments and feedback. Uh, I mean, just with controls, uh, what is it, smart animator, just that tool alone, because of your feedback, I was able to take your feedback and in one day I changed the UI and everything. You guys have been super helpful. But if you want to see all the tools that I'm currently working on, I did a video on it and it'll pop up in the upper right corner right now. You can click on it and you can see all the videos or all the tools that I'm currently working on. And I'm hoping, hoping to release it in the next week or so. So again, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll keep updating you guys. By the way, I'm recording this on the New Year's Eve. And some of you probably already celebrated New Year. So happy New Year to all of you guys. And uh, until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.